Hey, welcome back into today's video. Laney bot Kai Onision, they have responded to I'm now gonna say Ayla. It seems like it's probably Ayla. You know, I was I thought I was, I was mispronouncing that in the last video, but no one corrected me. So I'm just gonna say Ayla. They've responded to that and it it's uh, led me to believe a very interesting phenomenon is occurring and uh I just need to talk about this, so bring out your rep mugs. Don't have one? Link in description. Literally the youngest person I know is Sarah, and I have never, ever, ever, ever had a romantic relationship with Sarah. Ever. Um, secondly, I hear that uh, apparently Shannon says I groomed her. I've talked to Shannon twice, apparently. Uh, she is saying that I groomed her. I asked her once if uh, she wanted to go to a concert with me because- The thing that really strikes me as an odd that um, every time something happens, you'll notice that they do not really uh, use evidence to back up their um, claims that this is not what happened versus all the other videos that come out that have overwhelming evidence and it's not like this stuff is hidden it's uh simple google searches um you can put in an ec on billy an ec on sarah an ec on laney this laney that um those things are right there on the forefront of the internet so it's not hidden at all um uh, i find it very curious how they will say something so contradicting and again i'm not attacking them I'm just speaking the facts here. They'll say something that you can easily Google and that, that really blows my mind. I am, I am planning on, I already have contacted an attorney, um, but it, I'm seeing all this stuff and it's fair that I come and clear the air. It's just, you know, it's not fair when people are saying these things about you and you cannot come and defend yourself. I don't have- See, I'm not 100% sure if they should be going and clearing the air in uh most recent uh allegations with kevin spacey you know kevin spacey did not say anything a lot of people that are outed for uh abuse uh manipulation uh grooming different things like this won't say anything they will stay with their peace contact their lawyers build their cases and if you know today kevin spacey come out to say I'm not guilty. He, that's the first you've heard of it. He, that he said he wasn't guilty. Um, it seems like Anision and Laney go straight to the internet. It almost seems like um, they are feeding off the attention. Almost like they want the views. They want the perpetuation of these types of things. And I can't be sure, but I'm just going off face value. This is what it does look like. I did not. I never had a 14 year old living with me, Sarah. I did not meet Sarah until she was 16, and she came to live with me because I was trying to help her out that's it and we are only just friends and we are still just friends to this day is your name kai now uh yes I see that that is also really confusing i did a massive amount of research because i i like to do research on the video topics that i'm doing it's not that i'm i'm like specifically diving into the person and trying to pick about the person's life it's just that when videos are suggested to me i really like to get my facts straight about these things so i can present them to you so you can form your own opinions um what she just said is very contradicting to the facts and that does bother me i feel like it does point to bigger issues and she often throughout this uh, live stream will say that where's the photo evidence well if anybody does want that photo evidence the video that i made about this topic will be in the description below and i highly encourage you to watch that video and as always think for yourself so you can form your own opinions how were they untrue they never happened that's how they were untrue I never had a relationship with her. There was never talk of a relationship. We did not have a romantic or super unfair. Where's where's the screenshot? Where's proof? I already asked that. Actually asked that person a question directly connected to that. You'll have to see that person I think is doing a stream later and they can clarify what actually was said. But we were told later on that that person asked this, this uh, girl if she would sleep with this other girl. And that other girl is the girl who's been doing these live streams recently and trying to be really aggressive towards us and so forth. 
Um, I would use names, but I don't want to. Um, unless, of course, you guys actually brought up names and I'm responding to names or whatever. Uh, it's very curious that he doesn't want to use names and then goes on to say that if people wanted him to use names, that he would. But in the comment section, not on the screen, it says, I am confused, use names. And a lot of people did point out the fact that the stories between Anision and his wife about the situation were very contradicting and they did not match. The grooming, that's what the question was about. Um, so I've treated this person really badly until they turn 18. Now I've said that repeatedly and it's very real. I, um, I called them many mean names on a regular basis. I treated them like, you know, I would treat anybody I had no interest in. No, that doesn't make any sense because he just said he treated this person very badly until they turned 18. That's literally ch child abuse. I, re I hate to use that term. I really do. But that's what he said. Now, it, it perplexes me because wouldn't he want to treat well first of all you're gonna treat people good no matter what but second shouldn't it be kind of reversed anyway what i'm saying is um i think it's i think it's really weird that people would say that we were into this person before they turned 18 um and even after we didn't do anything with them that was weird like to this that's that's a really strange thing for him to say in, in regards to the grooming that person wants has expressed and it a sincere interest in being with Kai and Kai has been very very uh, hesitant because of numerous factors so it was clear that there was a, a serious interest from Sarah to Kai who is all Lainey. Kai and Lainey are the same person there was a sincere interest and that's what the internet was uh, really stressing about in the beginning um, this was before she came to live with them. This was before uh, Lainey took uh, legal guardianship over her. So that I see as an issue as well. If they knew that the, this person had romantic interest in them, why would they follow through with moving this person in, taking legal guardianship, if they didn't want to have a misunderstanding have the internet misunderstand their intentions wouldn't it be obvious not to talk to this underage girl on the internet no matter what like i have you know and no offense to anyone but there are so many people that come to me with their issues and problems and though i would love to reach out and help everyone if i had a big enough house just to move everybody in the fact of the matter is that the trial and tribulations that we go through the bad things that we go through let us know what is good it's contrast good and bad it's what the yin yang symbol means the the thing you know it's like you don't know one without the other it's the du duality of life so if this bad thing happens to you then you know what the good thing is and it's part of it failures are something that breeds success in individuals and i i love uh the fact that uh we can always find the positives and negatives and i think that's what i can uh, a message that I could convey to you guys uh, around every failure there will always be an upside because success is born of failure success don't come from success think about that and like I said I've done a massive amount of research and while I was doing my research every single time there has been a controversy they've been outed for anything exposed for anything Anision has come to the forefront of the internet to express his transgressions towards these types of things rather than take it up with a lawyer keep it quiet build a case and take care of these things legally he literally seems like he wants to bring it public every single thing has to be public and i'm not 100 sure why he takes this approach but every time that he does take this approach it looks like it does the opposite effect of what he wants much like the streisand effect in which if you try to cover something up then it gets exposed more rapidly this is a new phenomenon and i want to coin this phrase right here we're going to call it the avaro effect and what happens is is every time anision comes out on the public platform to um, explain why these allegations are true or false 
everyone gets this really faint, cautious feeling. And they're very suspicious at this point, and this causes YouTubers to make so many videos on the topics and subjects to look so deeply within it and not just in on a niche on videos but any youtuber that comes out to say hey this is not true without providing facts and evidence in depth this is the ripple effect that happens the avaro effect and with that i know you guys have got a lot to say about this and uh also, I want to say that if you do have questions, I'm trying to build up my Instagram. So if you want to go over there, I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, follow my Instagram. I'm trying to get it to 5,000 follows. I'm going to do a QA and a on there. I've never done a Q&A on there or mostly any platform, really. And so it's really exciting. Uh, so go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... I never want to see any human being fail. I don't want to see these horrible things happen. I don't want to see the victims go through what they're going through. I don't want to see these. I just don't. Generally, I don't think anybody really wants to see those things. And uh, yeah, if I could save everybody from all their pain, I definitely would. But you just can't do that. You can't, you can't save everybody. And uh, with that, I'll leave you with this. Once again... Don't dwell on the negatives. Those negatives are given to you to prevail. There is always an upside. And I know that you're ripping if you're not ripping your game. And how do you become a member of the Red Squad? Well, all you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. I really like cheese. I just, I really do.